The middle schoolers say their son was threatened on the school bus. They reached out to News Channel 6 because they feel the situation is not being handled as seriously as it should be. News Channel 6's Ashley Osborne talked to the school district, the sheriff's office, and sat down with the parents. I think it's just being brushed under the rug. I need to know if you're taking this as serious as I am taking it as a parent. The reason you don't see the parents' faces is because they're concerned about the impact on their sixth grader. They say while on a Columbia County school bus headed to Riverside Middle, the following happened with their son and another student. It led to, you know, him just antagonizing him. And then he said that the kid said he was going to put a gun to his head and shoot him. According to them, this was the second time the same student picked on him. One of the kids on the school bus him. They tell us the second time around they reported it to the sheriff's office in addition to the school. Because my son was threatened, I needed this on record. Because of the continued school shootings, you know, that was another part of the reason why I called the Plum County Sheriff, because this is, this is extremely serious to us. The parents shared with deputies what their son told them, but they say they're frustrated their child was never interviewed for the investigation. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office says an investigator went to the accused boy's home and found no weapons. Also, they found no witnesses who could confirm what was said. It's really your word against his. Everything else that has been said by our child, they've been able to verify. The school system says they investigated the incident and held the student accountable based on the code of conduct. Federal law prohibits them from sharing information about student discipline. As a parent, we should know what that consequence is since our child was involved. They say what they described deserves serious consequences and hope sharing their story prevent something like it from happening in the future. Have a conversation with your kid. I mean, find out if someone is saying something violent towards them and you need to follow through with it because you can't take anything like this lightly. The BOE sent us a copy for their procedure on how they handle bullying. You can find it on WJBF.com. Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel 6.